An important aspect of the development uh, of FTDs is the close cooperation with the aircraft manufacturer. So when the aircraft manufacturer is available, then the decision of whether to use an original component or a replicated component can be quickly taken because uh, the aircraft manufacturer knows its internal costs for the part. We know our development costs if we have to replicate it. And then we quickly can compare what is more economic and on a long term from a support point of view, what can also be better supported in future. And then such decisions can be taken together and very quickly. And this is a very interesting aspect. With an FDD, our goal is of course not only to uh, simulate the system in a perfect way for the normal operation, because the strength of the FTDs is the capabilities with regard to emergency situations, and that requires that uh, the systems are really simulated to quite a deep level so that if circuit breaker A fails, which has a side effect on system B, then this has to be modeled. And this is better possible to model this when the information is available from the manuals provided by the aircraft manufacturer. And also together with the aircraft manufacturer, there is uh, the pool of test pilots typically available at the aircraft manufacturer so that the test pilot also can sit into the FTD and test the capabilities and the features that he expects in the aircraft. Being a test pilot, uh, these persons typically are extremely familiar uh, with the aircraft and they immediately spot out uh, things that do not yet behave as they should. The, the, the question that we ask as developers is, well, if we do it now not in the order as prescribed by the checklist, how does the system behave? The pilots very frequently say, well, we don't do that, we actually don't know. And so uh, we have to go into the aircraft and see if we do something not according to the checklist. Of course, we always make sure that we don't do anything that breaks the aircraft. But if we do something that is not according to the checklist, that uh, we can see the system reaction. And then with that, we can make sure that the way we implemented, we modeled the system is behaving correctly because if we modeled it correctly, then also a wrong manipulation will react correctly. And this we can then cross-check in the aircraft and with the expertise of the test pilots.